What is up guys, it's your boy Swallam here and back with another Classic WoW video for Season of Discovery. Now today we're talking about gold making and a gold making method that I'm using to make 200 gold every single day. It depends on how many characters you have but I'm making 100 gold per character and I have 2 characters with this profession. So we can make about 100 gold per day per character by clicking one button. And the setup to be able to do this is very very easy. First of all I do want to say that anyone who has my gold making guide or my pay Patreon as well. Basically, I'm uploading this video in early access to people that have my gold making guide or that are following me on Patreon or are subscribing on Patreon. So, if you want to have access to the best of my gold making content before they go public, Patreon or my gold making guide are the places to be. When you get uh, either you follow me on Patreon or you sub on Patreon or you buy the guide, you get access to gold making communities where I'm sharing my best secrets, my best tips, and also once again, early access to videos. That way, you can see them before they're public. And then you can guarantee making more gold as well before the gold making methods are more widely known if that makes sense now let's get into the video the setup and everything here so this has to do with the transmute and we are not transmuting arcanite bars even though arcanite bars can also be really good like going to transmute arcanite you can see arcanite crystals and also thorium bars arcane crystals are 24 gold thorium bars are 63 and arcanite bars are 39 so based on this you're making about 15 gold profit every single day with a very easy Easy transmute. That being said, there's another transmute that does require a little bit more work, but it's way better in terms of profit, and that is this one right here, transmuting fire to earth. This one transmutes an essence of fire, which we can farm right now in phase 3. It is selling for 39 gold on the auction house, and it transmutes this into essence of earth. On my server, it is 140 gold on the auction house, and only 5 of them available, before the price jumps to 190. 99 and then 350. Now the reason why these are expensive is that they're really hard to farm right now. You have to kill earth elementals level 56 plus I believe 57 plus maybe as well. Really high level earth elementals to get the essence of earth. And here's the thing. I know that at least Warlock Tanks needs to have two of them in Phase 3. It's either for a rune or for a crafted item, but Warlock Tanks needs to have two of them. So I did this yesterday, I got the recipe yesterday, and a Warlock Tank paid me 100 gold just for the transmute. He gave me the Essence of Fire, he gave me the run itself, he gave me the way to the recipe, and he paid me 100 gold for it as well. So Warlock Tanks are really desperate to get their hands on this item as cheap as they can. So take Take advantage of that while you can, it's really good right now and based on there being a demand throughout pretty much the entire phase, this transmute could give you way more profit than the transmute arcanite. And the reasoning why is simply the barrier to entry. When it comes to the transmute arcanite, it's, an, uh, it's a recipe you can literally buy on the auction house, like searching up arcanite, we can find the recipe on the auction house and you can buy it for 10 gold. That being said, it's even being sold in Tanaris for 5 gold, so all you have to do for this one is be in Tanaris have 5 gold and have alchemy 275. Now for fire to earth you also have to have alchemy 275 but as you can see it's sold in blackrock depths in the guzzler and to get there you have to kill a lot of high level mobs and I'll show you the run as well that we did yesterday on twitch and show you the trade that I got so let's get into it. Once again, the entire basis of this video and the farm itself for like the gold making method is having alchemy and transmute. I've been saying this since phase one. Grab alchemy. It's really it has been cheap to level. Even now, it's really chill, it's cheap to skill up, and you tend to make your gold back, especially if you focus on crafting things that are used in the raid. Like for example, make elixirs of firepower while skilling up in that level bracket, and you will make your gold back. Very often, you even make profit from that one. Make free action potions make basically anything you can that will get your gold back while skilling up alchemy and for the most part it's literally free to skill up alchemy you just need to have some starter capital and then use that capital and get the capital back either way let's get into the run how to get the recipe and everything behind that too 
So the recipe itself is gotten from the um, the BRD or Black Rock Depth. You have to pull these packs to be able to click the lever. And this one opens a door to the, the next part of the dungeon basically. And you want to go that way. And this is like the kind of locked off part. So it's the high level part of BRD, level 55 plus mobs. It can be kind of difficult. So you want to have a somewhat capable group. Or just be really careful when you're pulling the mobs. And I'm trying to show you this in times 2 speed so you can see the exact route that I'm using and where you have to go. Now here's the thing, when you have gotten the recipe you can sell your lockout to other alchemists. I got 10 gold per lockout by selling my lockout just so they didn't have to clear the mobs like I did. So you can make even more gold on top, like when you're getting the recipe you can first of all do the transmute for 100 gold and you can even sell the lockout and post it in trade chat like why they want to have the lockout right? <laughs> That way you can make 10 gold per lockout, 15 gold per lockout. It's really the server dependent and how many people are doing it on your server. For me, I was the only one selling. I was taking 10 gold per lockout and I got like 10 sales, another 100 gold, just for being AFK inside and doing my crafts inside the dungeon while keeping the lockout. What I also did is I have two alchemists. So when we had cleared the dungeon, I invited a friend to the group. That friend invited my alt and that way I kept the lockout. So I could, you can grab this, you just have to clear the dungeon once, then you can grab the recipe on all your characters. If you have one alchemist, ten alchemist, doesn't really matter. And the more you have, the more gold you make. Getting the recipe is once again literally free. I think it costs you like, what, 1.5 gold from the vendor. The only thing is you need to make sure you have a philosopher's stone to be able to do transmute, which if you were doing transmute in phase 2, you have the stone anyways, and if you don't, well, it's really cheap to craft. Make sure you have the philosopher's stone. Now, once you are across this bridge, this is where the hard pulls start coming in. You can see the mobs are level 54, 55, and sometimes level 56. Make sure to use line of sight to your advantage here. Some of them are casters. So use line of sight, get them all stacked together. And the more physical DPS you bring, the better. At some point, being a mage, for example, you just miss so much. Only a level 55 or 56 mob. But um, it doesn't really matter the comp you bring. As you can see, I'm a mage still topping DPS, even though they are resisting absolutely everything but it's all about just being safe, pulling safe, and making sure nobody dies during this pull if you're getting here. If you're buying the lockout, you don't have to care about this at all. So once again, just be really, really, really cautious when you're doing this dungeon and doing the pulls to get to the boss himself. Now the manufacturing room where you can see us being right now is where you want to be really cautious about the other pulls and be really careful. And also mind where you're walking. There are a lot of high level mobs here, try to skip as many as you can. And once you're through this room, that's the only hard part of the dungeon actually done. Now you kill the fire elementals. If you have someone who's able to banish the elemental or do something like that, definitely do that as well. Like warlocks I think can banish. Somebody here is banishing at least. And then just kill these elementals really easy, especially if you have them one by one. And here you can see the Essence of Fire drops from here as well. Everyone in my party greeted, I won the Essence of Fire, so another 40 gold right there from the run itself. You shouldn't be you shouldn't be banking on those to drop, but when they do, it's a nice addition for gold per hour. Now in this case, we keep on pulling, we keep on killing one and one, and once you're here, that's literally once again the hard part done. Now you're in the Gustler. When you're in the Gustler, you talk to an NPC, you get your recipe, you do the transmute, and there we go. Now you can do the transmute every single day and just try to, like what I'm doing for example, is I'm posting in trade chat that I want to sell the Essence of Earth, because a 40 gold investment is kind of massive you want to make sure that you have what you need like you need to make sure you have buyers so for me i'm posting want to sell essence of earth for let's say 130 gold right now and if i get a customer i buy the essence of a fire from the orton house and transmute it on the spot and then trade it to him that way you guarantee that you have a buyer and as you can see he traded me 100 gold just for doing the transmute he gave me the essence of fire he gave me 100 gold i do the transmute for him and there we go once again, Wall of Tanks needs two of these, so there will be a high demand really early, and that is what you can capitalize on right now, and you can keep capitalizing on this throughout the entire phase, even though the profit margins definitely probably will go down. 
Now I do think it's worth noting that you have to have 275 skills in alchemy to learn the recipe, but you don't have to have that skill to go and buy the recipe. So what I did on my warrior is I'm 225 skill, I go and I buy the recipe, then I went and skilled up alchemy. So at this point I now have two alchemists able to do this every single day, which at the moment with my uh, auction house's prices is 100 gold profit every single day. And this was both yesterday and it's still 100 gold difference today as well. Now the market is kind of volatile and could be way less profitable on some servers out there. Could also be way better, like way more profit on some servers out there. All I can say is that on Living Flame, both today and yesterday, it's a hundred gold profit for a one day transmute. So, go and test it out if you want to make some gold, that's one really good way to make gold, and let's just say alchemy in itself is really good overall, so this just helps you make even more gold from an already absolutely busted profession in Season of Discovery Phase 3. Once again, this video is going to be available in early access to anyone who's subscribed to me on Patreon, or anyone who has my gold making guide so you can use this method to your advantage before the video goes public. If you enjoyed the video, please leave a like down below, let me know how you're making Golden Phase 3 in the comment section as well, and that's pretty much it, subscribe for more videos as always, thank you for watching, and I'll see you again very soon.